<laughs> hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about, with a cute bison behind me, we're going to be talking about um, another information, supporting information of these strange clots. Now the reason why I didn't put it as part of the series, of the spike protein series, is because the authors of this particular publication, which just came out this year, they didn't talk about the spike protein at all. So that's why I didn't put it in that series. But this is still very interesting information for one reason. And it's because it corroborates that these unusual clots are being observed. And remember in the series that I discussed, there was only two groups of researchers that were presenting this. So this is now a third one. And this is basically how science works. It's science works by accumulating evidence so you can see how slowly uh, evidence is accumulating and the fact that these unusual amyloid clots their abnormal clots are being observed in this case the authors who were i believe from helsinki and jagiellonian university so poland the country where i was born they were observing this in people who were afflicted with pulmonary embolism so uh, they took 35 samples and i believe in 35 people and out of those 30 oh this guy is getting close out of those 35 people let's show you guys this guy because that's why i'm stopped here um i believe almost quarter of them they were able to show uh, these unusual clots now what was also really interesting on the, about this particular publication is that they use different technology than everything that i've described before to show these clots they did something really cool they took fibrin that was modified in that it actually had a fluorescent tag attached to the fibrin itself and they used that mixed with the blood from from patients uh, with the pulmonary embolism which basically pulmonary embolism is when you have obstruction inside your lungs let me show you the rest of the territory where i'm where i am and uh in essence in essence um people who have obstruction in the lungs and they were able to take that blood, expose it to this un unusual fibrin. Oh. And where is he? There you go. <laughs> and they were able to show that these unusual structures were being formed. So there's one thing and they also looked for, they use a specific dye to determine whether there's any, uh, any cells involved this dye was binding to the membranes of cells and they were able to and this is one of the ways they showed that some of these unusual clots besides using fibrin they were also using platelets so they corroborate the information that was observed by all the other authors that i was discussing <laughs> i love what the bison is doing it's really he or she is really enjoying themselves which is great <laughs> uh, and um and basically it confirms the prior observations right so that's really really good because it means we're dealing with very likely we're dealing with something different and also now we're seeing this in variety of different conditions um post post pandemic so we're obviously we're talking about people with long covid we talked we talked about people with chronic fatigue syndrome and now we're talking about people with pulmonary embolism and so that's that's basically the all of, all of that information that I thought was really interesting. But there's one more really valuable aspect as well that came from that particular publication, and that was the fact that they actually measured the size of of these structures, and they were quite large. Basically, we're talking about so they measured quite specifically, and they mentioned that the size of these structures were between somewhere between 60 to 3,000 micrometers, square micrometers. So now micrometers, 1,000 micrometers is equivalent to one millimeter. That's a unit you're obviously going to be familiar with, right? So now we're talking about something that is quite big. And what they're saying is that they also, so they not only do they show confocal microscopy, this step of microscopy technology that allows you to see fluorescence, but they also showed electron microscopy. This is, we showed you a bunch of these figures as well from the past, and uh, you could have seen the, basically three-dimensional structures of, of clots, and they were able to show that these unusual clots have these really large structures embedded in them with also abnormal fibrins in them. So we're just getting more and more um, 
accumulated data showing that there's there's something something going on that's for sure and and um basically we just wanted to make sure i can show you some of that information as as well so um yeah it's just simply more supporting evidence now what does that mean there the authors also mentioned that oh, i've got to show you the guy this little guy again da -da 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 -da, right there what um what uh, the authors mentioned that also these unusual structures they must have been present in the blood prior prior to when clots are actually initiated so they're saying they suspected that the patients had them had them even just floating in the blood and that's just that's that's one of the, these things is like wow imagine that something that large could be present in the blood that bison decided to cross the road <laughs> so um and the last thing that I actually thought was extremely valuable from this very short brief publication was the fact that um, they mentioned that it was easily treated with uh, low molecular weight heparin. So they used that drug and they were able to show that these patients who were treated with that drug, these pulmonary, pulmonary embolism patients, once they were treated, these unusual clots disappeared. So that's what I thought was also super valuable. Um, from that brief publication so that's all i wanted to share with you uh, so i wanted to say hey thank you for all your support check out uh, some of our latest videos on the patreon account as well where again we also talk about clots there as well and and thank you for sharing uh sharing your video the, these videos uh with everyone i appreciate that because obviously that's how we grow join the patreon account please subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you in a future installment. Bye, everyone.